All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. themselves. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence, not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. The Brit is 29, the Russian is 30. He weighed in at 260 pounds. He will have a six inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 12 wins, three losses. He stands six feet five inches tall, weighing in at 252 pounds. Tall! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 18 wins, one loss. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, Sergey Pavlovich. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. Ready. Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a better weakness on either side when you break down. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups. Oh! Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that reach. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the field. I mean, when you don't check, you're gonna continue to get. All right, so there's the early takedown. He told us on Thursday he didn't necessarily see a path to victory if he couldn't get takedowns. That is certainly a good sign. Right away, he got the takedown. I don't believe they could have imagined that. It oh, liver kick! to the body. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. 
All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbow's fantastic takedown. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. He's not one appear to stun him. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Outstanding output on both sides. Oh, huge kick to the leg. He's hurt. He's hurt. Goes down again. Well, he's up. But he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Visibly limping here. Well, plenty of time here to go in round one. He has really gotten off to a good start tonight. He and his opponent prioritized an aggressive, all-offense start to this one. And that is exactly the way it's played out. Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent where he is. A oh, huge right hand! Fourth first round here. Ball oh, straight right. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there. And I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The time is almost over. If you keep getting hit with punches like this, you are going to sleep. And they both stand up. strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming so just the way he drew it up exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night he found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop this contest at three minutes, 28 seconds of the very first round. Playing the winner by knockout, Sergey! All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And that would be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight he did exactly that. Congratulations.